I remember growing up as a kid, my mom made us both, my brother and I, learn the Lord's Prayer. And as a good Christian boy, following his mom's orders, I did that. Um, and it never really made sense to me. There was the part where it says, your will be done. It felt like I was praying to give God permission for his will to be done on earth. And I just as a kid, I just learned it and did what my mom asked of me. April 11th of 2021 is a day that I can't say I fully remember. It is, however, a day I will never forget. A week of battling mild cold-like symptoms from COVID, I woke up not being able to breathe. Pulled out my little pulse oximeter and put it on my finger and it said my oxygen levels were in the 50s. Uh, they told me by un no certain, uncertain terms was I supposed to stay home, I needed to get to the hospital. So there I was, walking into the hospital. From that moment on, everything is kind of foggy. With oxygen level in the 50s, I wasn't really remembering what was happening. I remember getting out of the ambulance at Porter Hospital. I don't remember being rushed straight into surgery, being intubated immediately once I got there. I remember waking up strapped to a bed, tubes down my throat, unable to talk, not really knowing where I was or what was going on. I was alone. I was had no control of what was happening to me, and I was very, very scared. I'd been alone for almost 20 days. And it's one of the first times I can actually remember Bethany being able to visit me. I remember hearing her praying, sitting in the room. I'm laying on my stomach, I can't move, I can't do anything. She played some worship music. I closed my eyes and I was just taking in the moment. Remembering that God is there for me. And my entire body just relaxed. I now knew what I needed to do to go home. And it was to let go of the control I was so desperately clinging to and let God take back control that really we all know he already had. In the days following that night, I had a trach put in. I had, I was weaned off the ventilator in a miraculous of three days. I was back on breathing on my own, but I had to learn how to breathe again. I had to learn how to walk and how to eat, but I had a new motivation. I had a remembering that God is in control. I had come through hell and back. To the surprise of all the doctors, to all the nurses, the specialists, everybody that dealt with my care, I went home 10 days later. And now I wake up every day, remembering that God is really the one in control. And that I'm not asking him or giving him permission for his will to be done. I get to wake up, I get to look in the mirror and say, God, your will be done, because that's what I want, His will to be done. Because when I lean into that, I know that all is gonna be okay.